We have a new guest, Jay Suave. Yeah. He's been in our videos. Hello. Whoa. Do you guys want to hear about how the government tried to stage a terrorist attack to get into World War II? Is this real or is this 100% real? I be family truly flow, flow ready, set, go, wavy like show. Dropping new bits and collecting a dough. Keep it a hundred, you already know. We never frontin' but stuntin' for show from JD to PJ. We keepin' y'all hook like replay. Let's see Ray, deliver the goods, no delay. Y'all too busy cuffin', we Ah, uh, what day is it today? It's Monday, April 15th. The 13th. You know, you know where I started? You know where I started? We get a little Monday, zap up. Zap up. Welcome. Uh, hello. Definitely, definitely washed our hands, too. Definitely have a new we guest. We definitely didn't wash our hands, yes. <laughs> we have been exposed to each other, so uh, I don't want to see any, any, anything about, oh, gotta stay inside. We are inside, so suck it. Right? Yes, sir. We have a new guest, Jay Suave. Uh, yeah. He's been in our videos. Hello. Thank you. Thank you for having me again. He it's is a, a value member of the IP squad. A value so, uh, member of the IP squad. Upcoming rapper too. Go yeah. go check out his music. JD, put that on the screen. Thank you. Appreciate it. Shout out MP6, right? MP6, MP6. man. Do you, have anything, Power 6? do you have anything you want to plug I need for to see us? the photo uh, shoot, bro. Dude, I am waiting on the photo shoot too. I she said two weeks. That. And bada bing bada boom, we should be here. All right. I think it's going to take longer than two weeks because you know this whole thing, so. Yeah. 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 Who wants to get us started? Well, do you want to go? All right. I mean, we said in the first episode, ten likes, conspiracies. You guys hit ten likes. I'm so pretty we're here. sure we got eleven. Eleven likes. Whoa. And oh wait. First off, let's say thank you to yeah, everyone. Shout out, shout out to that guy's comment. Who is that guy? We're gonna Hold on. There's a few. Let me let me pull it up right here. They, we had a few comments. I want to thank everyone who did. There was some feedback. Thank you for that. Yes, sir. Um, someone say a story while I find this. Uh, we got a new place to do our podcast. There's this idea. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. Come on. I might have to, might have to press you. Dude, it's not that easy, JD. <laughs> not that easy. Yeah, we got a new place to do our podcast now, so let us know what you guys think. If we should go back to uh, Colson and JD's place to do it, if you like that vibe better. The cave. Let us know. Yeah. Let us know the absolute vibe. This is a little bit more professional. I like it. It's clean. Once we once we get our own mansion, I mean, we're getting a podcast room, we get a studio, we're getting all that. So yeah. Room for me? Yes, sir. Was, come on now. Come all on the, now. All the snacks that we definitely need to make. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Lowe. <laughs> oh my so, gosh. Uh, here <laughs> are some of the comments. We have Flabberjack sixty nine. Thank you. You you like the end uh, when we guessed jersey numbers. Uh, we'll, we'll keep doing stuff like that. 69. Also, thank you to everyone who said uh, corn nuts and chocolate milk. Yep. Beautiful. Harrison, our good friend Harrison, <laughs> shouted us out. Well, he sort of gave us a topic of discussion that I maybe, maybe we'll get into later. He said, are they bringing the coronavirus to float in the media to uh, whoa, kill... Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't yeah, say the name. Can't say the name. COVID nineteen. COVID nineteen to float in the media to kill the economy and get Trump out of office. Mm. I think it's plausible. We'll get into that a little bit later. Go Harrison, ahead, go ahead and speak on that. Actually, right there, right there. You guys want to know? I want to know what you think. And I think I'll, we'll we'll share. I think Harrison <laughs> absolutely wound up with the hammer, <laughs> hit it on the head. You got to think about the timing of this. What happened recently that maybe people want to be distracted from? Uh, deaths. Well, there's deaths and stuff. Uh, the homie just got impeached. Hmm. Oh, okay. And it didn't work, as far as I'm aware. I never. I didn't even put that together, bro. Yeah. Like, when was it? February. Yeah. Uh, yeah, February. Yeah. Okay, wow. I, see where, I see where you're going. Wow. Keep going. So, um, the people who tried to bring him down realize, oh no, this isn't going to work again. Let's, I, I'm, I'm going to call these people the deep state. You guys know that term, the deep state. Mm. You got to. The, what? Is that just like the United States is underground? That's a great guess. Mm. But. Uh, the deep state is just like the when I like when people say, "Oh, the government knows everything." It's like the people at the top, ahead of the president, ahead of anyone. 
the deep state. The New World Order. Yes, those people. Mm. They said, oh, that's not going to work again. We can't let the public get to know what we're doing over here. Let's close up shop. Let's close down every building in America and just keep people inside while we, by the way, while we pass some shady stuff through Congress. Have you guys heard about that? Mm. During all this, Congress is trying to pass laws to, like, try to get into our phones, try to track us, yada, yada, 5G. Well, dude, there's already kind of a way. Like, they're already listening to us with with that update. Remember how you can hear somebody through uh, AirPod? Like, you can look your phone up and then put your phone somewhere else and listen to somebody. Oh, okay, the AirPod? AirPod? Oh, yeah, I've seen that. I think it was Shane Dawson. There's a video, like... When you hang up, you can still hear them like three seconds after, or is it when you, before you pick up the phone? Something like that. Yeah, I think it's before you pick up the phone or when you hang up, there's still a three second delay. So let's just say BJ calls me and he, obviously like, we're talking. If I hang up, he can still hear what I say after I hang up for like three seconds and then it shuts off. So like, wow. there's, there's a little delay and like, I don't know if that means something. I don't know if it's just like the software, but. They're, uh, li- they're listening. Yeah, definitely listening. I mean. Like God. Yeah, especially if you're playing Call of Duty on. listens to us, man. And before I forget, also, there is another comment on here. I will not say the name because it is a little bit raunchy. Let's make one up. Um, it is Go Have Fun With Yourself. And he said, Enjoy the podcast, guys. Thank you. Oh, appreciate it. Uh, appreciate I'm not going to say the name, unfortunately, but you know who you are. Thank you so much. Also, Zymer Tracks wants to be YouTube partners. Zymer Tracks? Sure. I mean, uh, okay, wait, no, wait. Oh, we're gonna have to. Do you, if you make beats, hit us up. Yeah. If you make beats, hit us up. And I, I just do want to say, uh, if the audio's off, it's too quiet, the setup doesn't look perfect, we are getting all the stuff right now. Uh, we're working on it. Obviously, it's a little hard to get everything shipped in. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we're, we just started. This is what, episode three? Mm-hmm. Uh, three. Episode two is. I don't know why I'm saying this because you're seeing this after episode two, but hey, we are getting our stuff, so it's coming in. So this is just a. Temporary setup. Temporary. So enjoy it while it lasts because we're going to be changed human beings. We're in progress. Does anyone have any cool stories? Any funny stories? Uh, Something well, you want to share? We're trying to touch on um, conspiracy. conspiracy for a bit. Okay. Let's do it then. Okay. You know, you know, okay, I don't know enough about conspiracies. Like, I dabble. But there was one that has crossed my mind a lot and you guys talked about it. The mattress firms. Oh, yeah. Right, because they say you don't need to buy a mattress. What every you need to buy a mattress every eleven uh, years, twenty years. Let's just let's ask the people. Think at home. Think to yourself. How often have you bought a mattress, you or your family? It's probably not less than five years, unless like it broke or something. Because mm-hmm. well, isn't, isn't there a thing that says? Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't there a thing that says like you're supposed to buy a mattress every twenty years? Eleven? No, or seven? I think seven years. Okay. Let's just, why is there so many mattress firms around if you don't buy like mattresses like enough? You know what I'm saying? Like you don't need that many mattresses in your lifetime, but there is so many around the corner. Which and I guess people are saying this could be like with the lottery money or like yeah, yeah, or like, like the drug stuff or something like that. Just drive around in Palm Springs. We saw a bunch. Yeah, there's just mattress like back to back. The same brand mattress like firm. Have you Breaking seen that? Breaking Bad type thing. Have you seen, like, Mattress Firm, the store? There's one right next to this building. Yeah. Yeah, there's one right over here. I don't know, man. I just don't... There's more to it when I heard it. Something... So you think they're hiding something? I mean... Yeah. In some of the stores. Uh, mattress Maybe. stores? It like who? surprising, though. Yeah. We I can think about now. that. I think Breaking Bad. Breaking, Breaking Bad. Bad. Great show. Yes, Everyone sir. round of applause for Breaking Bad. <laughs> round. Watch you have to. Do I know, I know. Jordan, why don't you tell us about what, what's going on with the uh, MP6, man? Tell us, yeah. tell us what's, uh, what's new, happening with that. Any new things? Introduce. So, introduce yeah, me. introduce what you guys are MP6 out. is Money Power 6, and it's six of us, obviously, in Money Power 6, and we are working on table. We actually just finished it, and then we're waiting on a release date. And we just dropped a single called Vince Carter, so you guys should go listen to that. For the meanwhile, and where hopefully this thing blows up. Where can they find your stuff? SoundCloud. We only have SoundCloud right now, but we're working on dropping all our music everywhere. 
SoundCloud for now, MP6. Check those yes, dizzles sir. out. Yes, Jordan MP6. has shared songs with us on the tape and fire. Yeah. Listen to it every day. Chilling Straight in the backseat. Up. Take a ride. No, that's, I, that's IP. <laughs> that's IP. Oh, wait, you said no, MP6. He said MP6. MP6. So, six they shots. have not our songs. Go six shots, my favorites. Mm, six shots. Out. I like Strap. Okay. Mm, oh, strap. Strap. Um. Dude. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna say something. No, I'm no, no, I'm, I'm chilling, man. Okay. So I saw a video the other day. And I know, I know, I was talking to you guys about it, but like, I do want to have a conversation about it. Is this Dasani water? Mm, it's please. like, did you did you know that? Because I didn't know that. Till I didn't yesterday. know. I did not know at all. And like, the fact that they're putting salt in water for you to like be addicted to like keep drinking it, and the fact that you always see it. At like a sporting event uh, or Knott's Berry Farm, like I see there all the time, and it's always expensive. Yeah, dude, like that's so weird. It makes sense why this guy at the barbershop drinks so much water. It's always the Sony. <laughs> really? I'm telling you, I heard it tastes like metal. Like it's terrible. I'm gonna be honest. I used to like the Sony a lot. Really? And then like I hate it now, but that's a good point. Like I, 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 go, right. I go to Disneyland a lot. The Sony or Arrowhead? I hate Arrowhead, so I'm gonna choose the Sony. Oh, Arrowhead tastes like plastic. Really? Like there's different tastes. You don't taste you don't it. I'm with beach right here. I'm saying if it's wet, it's water. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, the no name brands are the best waters. Yeah, it's true. Like, I agree okay, with I want to say Crystal Geyser is a no name. But oh, what is it? That like Costco brand, Kirkland or something? Kirkland's like that? Kirkland's a good one. Fire. Nice water. That's good F- water Fiji's too. Fiji's nice. I'm going to get Fiji. Fiji is bougie. I don't, I don't know. Fiji's the only nice. water I can taste the difference is just Arrowhead. Bro. Compared to all the other waters. Is that your guys' feet? Because I keep hearing somebody walk up on me, dude. I mean, I'm moving. <laughs> okay, that's sometimes. you then. Talking about ghosts, I think we're going to film an episode. Okay, yeah. Uh, I guess, BJ, why, why, don't, why don't you tell okay, them? Okay, shout, um, shout out to Sam and Colby. Um, I watched them a little bit. <clears throat> they kind of like have the same things that we're into. Like, We always want to try to find ghosts or, or whatever. Like, It's just something that we're into. Shout out Ghost Adventures too. Ghost Adventures, yeah. number one. Mm. Number one TV yes, show. Mm-hmm. Um, apparently, there's this enchanted forest in Cali, so we're thinking on checking that out. Like, super sketchy, but I think we're gonna be down to do it. We'll try to film it. Um, yeah, apparently, do, they do like a lot of rituals there and stuff. We're not really into like rituals and stuff. We're just yeah. in it for the adventure. <laughs> we're just in it for <laughs> not the devil worshippers, guys. Okay? Yeah. But um, yeah. we're probably gonna do that, so um, be looking forward to that. And uh, I don't know. Very soon. Yeah. Let us know what you guys want to sounds, see next, too. Sounds crazy. Um, man. Yeah, because like, usually what, what we do is like we film and we like just come up to top. But if there's something you guys like to see, more music videos, more skits, more... Uh, I mean, you guys love the podcast, so I think we're going to keep going with that. But yeah. just skits, videos, uh, songs, vlogs. We have a couple challenges we filmed, like a horse challenge we haven't put out yet. Uh, there's there's a lot of videos behind the scenes you guys don't know about um, that we want to post, but it's just been hard going outside, obviously. So we're trying to do the best. Do you guys want to hear about how the government tried to stage a terrorist attack to get into World War Two? Is this real or is this hundred percent real? This Sorry, is... no, maybe not World War Two, not World War Two. This is this is hundred percent real. Hundred percent real. Okay, let me hear. It. Dude, and then I want to touch on uh, airplanes real quick after you're done. Well, this is perfect because have you guys heard of a little government operation called Operation Northwoods? No. No. Operation Northwoods. You can Google it right now. It was an operation back when JFK was president. And everyone, so all of JFK's people under him, came up with this plan. They had it signed, ready to execute. The only thing that they needed to carry out this plan was JFK's signature. He didn't, he, he didn't sign this thing. He's, he shot this down, no pun intended, because their plan, <laughs> their plan was to fly a fake, uh, like, uh, commercial plane, a fake, like a drone, with, filled with no one, no one in the plane. They were gonna fly it and shoot it down, blame it on Cuba, and then go after Cuba with a war. The only reason they didn't do it is because JF, JFK said no. And a lot of people think that's a reason why he also was assassinated. Whoa. Wait, okay. Slow it down. 
Whoa. What was the reason for this whole attack? To go after Cuba. Because they did what? Uh, just all the Cuba, Castro, all uh, that stuff. Okay, where is Cuba? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say. Okay, because I remember I played as JFK in Black Ops. You guys. Castro? Black Ops 1? Do you think that that's a big thing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, like in movies and stuff, when. I'm trying to think. Like. I can't, I can't think of any examples right now, but there's instances in movies and stuff where, like, they joke about some sort of something happening, like, behind the scenes of Hollywood, and later it'll come out to be true. Uh, it's happened a lot of times, and I think people know. Um, people know about conspiracy theories and stuff, it's just when people say, oh, that's a load of whatever. That's when it gets, uh, when people don't take the time to look into it. I sound like Eddie Bravo, but it's true. People got to know this stuff, man. Do you think that there was a sniper up top, or do you think it was? Because I heard there was a guy. There was a guy in the car. Oh, JFK. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard like people from different areas hearing ricochets of bullets. Yeah. I've heard. Uh, uh, yeah, I heard there was like a whole group of people going after him at the time. Dude, another thing, man. When you watch the video, I don't recommend you watching the video. If whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's my favorite. But um, <laughs> but just look. If you do end up watching the video, look at how fast his wife reacts. Yeah. If you're getting hit from a sniper up top, you're telling me that she's has that type of instinct to understand that he just got shot in the head that quick. And like be that responsive, uh, or the guy turns around, shoots him, and she's already like, what, what, what kind of a quicker response would she have? The guy in the front seat or up on top? Yeah, that's true. Because if he's up top, she wouldn't know what's going on and be like, yeah, she responded so quick, dude. I'm telling you, like they even did it in slow motion. He gets shot, bam. She's like already turning around, trying to like help him out. It was crazy. Do you remember? Yeah. That? Do you understand what she was doing though? And it's kind of it's kind of gru- it's kind of gruesome to see like think like picture it, but she's like crawling in the back of the car to save like parts of the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what where's she doing? She's reaching for something. She's crawling uh, in the back. Yeah. Of the back no, of the- I, I've heard that. I've also heard like she was just trying to get out, just trying oh, to crawl okay. out. Well, I've because I saw her like trying to like scramble. Yeah. Like she like lost her like contact lens, almost like oh like. But it's- I'm not gonna lie, I've never seen that video. You gotta. You, gotta you wanna see it? it? I'll, I'll show you after. Live reaction right now. <laughs> okay, reaction. you know what? Sure, live reaction. I don't think we can show this. Yeah, yeah we're not going to show it uh, because I know we have some kids don't put volume. that watch our... Yeah, no channel. volume. Shout out, you know what? I'm going to say this. Any any kids from the YMCA, I miss you guys very much. Uh, hope Why you guys are safe. Shout out to Emily Hong. She shouted us out on one of our videos. I saw please, that. Please stay safe. Yeah, stay safe. Do whatever you can to, to keep yourself safe and your family safe. Uh, you guys are probably happy because no school. Which is like pretty much a long summer. Strangers have dangers. Yeah. Say no to uh, strangers. Don't talk to strangers. Uh, Where is he at? I do miss you guys though. Okay, so I hope okay. you guys are doing and safe. You got shot already? Uh, and then one more. Yeah. <clears throat> You'll see it. Oh. Yeah. Dude, that's crazy. Yeah. Some people say it was a driver. So, yeah. Yeah, because he like reaches back. And oh, and there's, like, there's so many like conspiracy like shows just based on that one scene. Off. I'm saying. Okay. A conspiracy so, that we were... A conspiracy. Hold up. What? But, like, if it was a sniper from up top, do you know how, like, good of a sniper you had? Oh, yeah, like, they were saying that it was, like, an almost impossible shot. Yeah, yeah. like, car moving, guy in a building. No, yeah, people are still debating to this day. Okay, have you seen happened. me play Warzone? Uh, <laughs> hey, I've seen you shoot that guy off the, off the car. Oh, yeah, that was, that was nice. good. Yes, sir. Uh, um, I got another juicy one, yeah. if you want. No, BJ, BJ was, uh, BJ was I was just going to say something about present day, like right now. <clears throat> talking about like airplanes, and I was talking to you guys about this earlier in the week too. I don't know if you guys noticed, well you guys probably did. Uh, uh, a couple days earlier in the week, it was raining a lot. And this week was the most like hyped up week for all of us to stay inside, right? Like all of us to stay inside. And um, I don't know if you guys heard this conspiracy, but airplanes are sent out. And, like, they drop some type of chemical to change the, the environment and, like, make it rain, whatever. And, like, it would only make sense for this week because 
when it rains, nobody wants to go outside, right? Mm -hmm. So I was going into that too. Like I just mm -hmm. stopped on that point. But what if they're doing something even deeper that nobody wants, like that they don't want anybody to see, so they keep everybody inside? Do you think it's like there's one guy out there, like he makes his, like a device and like he shoots it up in the sky and like food starts raining down, bro. Oh my. Dude, it's cloudy with chance of meatballs. This is kind of like that, controlling the weather. <laughs> it's not proven it's a thought though. Oh, it's, okay. Like, is that your own thought? Yeah, it's my thought of what's been going on like yeah, early in this week. That's actually, that's actually a good point. Yeah. I don't know. Like, everyone stays inside, so like, bad guys come out to play. Yeah. In a way. In a way. What were you going to say, You guys ready for another one? Mm hmm Let me with it. All my, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. All of my Joe Rogan fans, stand up. JRE, stand up. So, operation. We're doing another operation. Operation Paperclip. Have you guys heard? No. The paperclip, the one you traded in? And he got it, a house for it? Talk about that or not? Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. You no, never no. heard what? that? You never heard about that? No. This guy had a paperclip. Traded it in for like something else, and he just kept trading everything that he yeah. traded for. And he ended up getting a house. <laughs> it's almost like have you, if you guys seen The Office. Yeah, it was like that. He kind of. There's a there's a character like so, it was like the seventh season. Like they're having a garage sale uh, at the office, mm -hmm. and one dude named Dwight True is like the dude with the glasses. He has a a, a, a wax a candle, thumbtack. a thumbtack. thumbtack. He had a thumbtack, and he went around everyone's like stall or not stall. Uh, Garage sale little display. He's like, okay, I'll give you this. You give me this. So he traded it until he got like the thing he wanted. Oh, wow. And so it's exactly yeah. like you're yeah. saying. That's crazy. That's what they, do you think they got the idea from that? Maybe. Uh, maybe. Maybe. But we have a few minutes left here. The last operation. Operation Paperclip. So back in after World War II, this was an operation carried out by our own government. After Nazi Germany fell and Hitler died. What happened to all the evil Nazi scientists? What do you think happened? They died. No clue. Have you seen Black Ops? You think they died? Zombies. Zombies. Some of them turned to zombies. What do you think happened? No clue. About, let me see. Uh, the, the, uh, a few, uh, I'm going to say in the hundreds. A few hundred Nazi scientists and just top people were brought to the U.S. One of those Nazis started NASA. Wow. Okay. Werner von Braun. You guys might have heard of that. Okay. He was the head of NASA during the moon missions. Did he make Warner Bros? He did not make Warner Bros. His first name is Werner with an E. Werner von Bros. <laughs> <laughs> um... NASA, there was one guy who was hired by the CIA. There was another Nazi um, hired to, let's see, yeah, some sort of secret CIA operation. Um, yeah, so that's, that was Nazis working in the government, in NASA, in the CIA. Who was the first person to fly to the moon? Wasn't it somebody else besides us? Um, there was a Russian guy in space, the first guy in space. Yeah, because we, we were battling with Russia, like, one up each other. Okay. And, like, one dude was flying in space, and then we're like, okay, let's try to land someone on the moon. Is the most common conspiracy, yeah. is the moon landing fake? Is the what? Moon landing, moon landing. fake. Because oh. there was a Photoshop picture, right, that they tried to, like, show was, like, yeah. the U.S. citizens, and they were like, nah, it's Photoshop. That's not... That's People not say they filmed it in, like, a Hollywood studio back in the day. People have said Stanley Kubrick directed it. I don't know. What I will say, I think um, at the time, America would have done anything to either A, get to the moon first, or B, fake like they were the first ones to the moon. So either way, to either go to the moon or to fake it was, uh, they had so much incentive to do so. Now, I think, I personally think the footage is at least faked. Now, they could have gone to the moon for real, 
maybe, but I've heard that I don't think film itself, like actual film, can survive just in like normal space. That's what I've heard. So I don't think they would have film to prove it. Uh, little disclaimer, I was never alive during the moon landing, so I have no idea. Also, another thing, sorry to rant, but we're ending in like 30 seconds here. Ah, uh, don't lose my train of thought. No, do not do this. <laughs> Moons. Uh, alligators, Russia. Tiger King, uh, Monster, Hobbs, uh, Hats, Nazis. Glasses, um, Scientists, NASA, podcast. America, Germany. Uh, sh- Thank- All right, thanks guys for watching. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you guys <laughs> for watching. I, f- I think about it, I'll put it on the screen right now. I knew I was going to remember what I didn't remember during this video. Back in the late 60s when the moon landing first aired on television, there was no rewind, there was no Netflix to play it back after. So once you saw it once, it was done. You didn't see it again. So that's why I think they pulled it off so well if it was faked. Because they just play it once on TV and everyone is just focused on them being at the moon, on the moon, that they just didn't even notice that it may have looked fake. That's just my theory. Okay, back to the video. Let us know what you guys want us to talk about next. Peace out. Peace out. We'll see you later. Peace.